hello students how are you hope you are doing well now the question is two isolated metallic spheres s1 and s2 of radii 1 cm and 3 cm respectively are charged such that both have same charge density 2 upon pi into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb per meter square they are placed far apart from each other and connected by a thin wire calculate the new charge on sphere s1 so this is the particular problem which is based on the topic capacitance uh, some particular concepts which are used here are first of all we can say that the charge is equal to charge density multiplied by area this particular concept we use then charge equals to capacitance multiplied by the potential this concept is used and when the charges are connected certain charges are connected by a thin wire then their potential is same this concept we use and the capacitance in terms of a radius for a particular sphere is given by 4 pi epsilon naught r this particular concept is used and uh, in any process uh, like this process uh, the charge is conserved so conservation of charge is used for example the earlier charges are q1 and q2 respectively so their total sum should be equal to q1 dash plus q2 dash this is after connecting by a thin wire so the charge conservation principle is used so these principles are used to solve this particular problem first of all for the first charge for the first charge for the first sphere we can say that the charge q1 is given by the charge density 2 upon pi into 10 to the power minus 9 multiplied by the area area since the particular sphere for the sphere we know that the area is 4 pi r square so this particular concept is used so 4 pi r square 4 pi into 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 because this is in centimeter and we have to convert it into meter and its square so after solving this this pi cancels with this pi and we get this value as 8 into 10 to the power minus 13 coulomb so this is the charge of the first sphere and similarly we can calculate the charge of the second sphere this is given by 2 upon pi into 10 to the power minus 9 multiplied by 4 pi into 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square because the radius of the second sphere is 3 centimeter so after calculating this we get this value as 72 into 10 to the power minus 13 coulomb so these are the respective values of charges before they are connected with a thin wire now these wires are connected by a thin wire so the earlier situation is this the particular spheres s1 and s2 they are far apart and uh, after some time they are connected by a wire they are connected some wire by thin wire and uh, their respective charges changes so q1 is the earlier charge of s1 q2 is the earlier charge of s2 and q1 dash is the charge after the process and q2 dash is the charge after the process so we can see that here q1 plus q2 is equal to q1 dash plus q2 dash q2 dash now we can see that q2 dash upon q2 q2 dash upon q1 dash is equal to c c1v upon c2v because the potential is constant potential is same here for both the spheres the potential is same so that is why we take this value as v now this v cancels and we get c1 upon c2 now c1 is 4 pi epsilon naught r1 and c2 is 4 pi epsilon naught r2 we know that the capacitance of a sphere is given that by this particular formula so here uh, there is some correction here this is c2 and this is c1 because q2 dash corresponds to c2 into v and q1 dash corresponds to c1 into v so this is the correction here 
So we can say that this comes out to be R2 upon R1. Now this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2, Q2 dash upon Q1 dash. Now from these two equations we can solve and find out the value of Q1 dash because we have to calculate the charge of sphere S1. So we have to calculate the value of Q1 dash. So we can say that uh, from this second equation we can say that Q2 dash is equal to R2 upon R1 times Q1 dash and R2 is 3 and R1 is 1 centimeter and Q1 dash, Q1 dash. So this Q2 dash is equal to 3 Q1 dash. This value we put here. So we get this value as Q1 plus Q2 is equal to Q1 dash plus 3 Q1 dash. So this comes up to be 4 Q1 dash. Q1 plus Q2 is equal to 4 Q1 dash. Or we can say that Q1 dash is equal to Q1 plus Q2 upon 4. Now Q1 plus Q2 is the sum of these two charges, 8 plus 72 into 10 to the power minus 13. So this is 8 into 10 to the power minus 13 plus 72 into 10 to the power minus 13 divided by 4. So this value comes out to be 20 into 10 to the power minus 13 coulombs, which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb. So we can say that the final answer is 2 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb. This is the charge on sphere S1 after they are connected by a thin wire. So this is the particular solution of this problem. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you.